Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome to the channel today. Today's June 11th and I'm going to be washing the Fusion. I already washed it and I decided, you know, why not? What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on here, the McGregor's Ceramic Wax and try it out in the industrial environment. See what it does. Um, see if it helps keep it clean. I think it's going to rain tomorrow and uh, we'll just see what it looks like for maybe a couple weeks and we'll do some updates on it. Um, since the car is exposed to a heavy industrial environment and I figure why not you know um, I do have plans maybe in a month maybe next month um, someone uh, made a comment try out the uh, chemical guys hypercharge on the fusion for an industrial environment and uh, I think I might, might do that do a light polish and put that on there but I'm gonna have to decon the whole paint get the tar off and stuff like that and that'd be a separate video so meantime I'm gonna rewash the, the vehicle with clean slate try to make sure it's clean I'm not gonna clay bar I'm not gonna do a uh, decon for iron or tar remover um, we're just gonna go straight into this for the first application the vehicle's gonna be wet we're gonna spray a little bit on there and just dry it off and then maybe in a week maybe this weekend I'll put another coat on and use it to dry and aid depends on the weather we'll see and we can do a little update on that in a week or two but uh, yeah I'm gonna wash it and we'll see and today I'm, I'm filming on my new uh, GoPro 7 uh, tell me what you guys think of uh, the footage I'm um, gonna have to mess with the camera a little bit to get used to it. I just got it to, um, so I'm still gonna watch YouTube videos on it, how to use it and that. So it's supposed to have stabilizer in it, and I think that's gonna help us out a little bit on the car show videos and stuff like that. So um, and I gotta order like a tripod and that to help out for the videos. Trying to make these better videos better, the better quality, the best I can. You know, on you know, not something that's real expensive. So we'll get the washing. First clean slate and then this. Alright, I'll get washing and then I'll get... Alright, before I wash it, we'll do a little water test. That didn't go good. We can kind of tell that there's nothing on here. Pretty much nothing left. It's pretty much dead. I had that... Uh, Pro Nano on here that spray it lasted a little over a month, I would say. And granted, I haven't washed this vehicle in man, with all the rain, probably six weeks. Yeah, it's been about six weeks, I have to say. So, yeah, you can tell. Look at that, the water just dead on there. Let me know too how the audio is on this stuff, also. Um, I had to order a mic and stuff like that. So, yeah, let me know in the comments the footage and the audio on this, uh, my new camera. Let me know, please. We'll see. All right. Okay, welcome back. Here we go. We're ready. All washed up. And for your first coat of this stuff, you basically shake it up. And what you're going to do is you're going to spray it on there and you're going to dry it off. And then if you already have your initial coat, the next time you wash it, as it's wet, you just spray a little bit on and then you rinse it. And then you're gonna dry it off. It's, that's pretty simple. You don't have to use a lot, so we'll just throw it spray a little bit so we don't streak, just like that. And then we'll uh, rub it in. Might have to go through a couple of towels. Wanna work that in there. That's pretty much it. Flip towel over. Just gonna work it in. Just gonna. Pretty much it. There we go. Let it flash a little bit too. And then we'll go over it a little bit. Today's only like 65 out. For June, it's crazy how low the temperature's been. And then we can do a, a water test when I'm done with the vehicle. I'm gonna put it on the glass and everything. All right, I'll finish up and then we'll come back. I'm sure you guys seen enough videos of uh, applying a product. I'm not gonna put a lot, spray a lot on. I'm gonna put it on the windows. If it's raining tomorrow, I'll take a little bit of footage and that before my, for an update, I'll just combine it. There we go, work it in there. You can see how it, uh, it's pretty much flashing a couple spots, but not bad. Oh, I 
got rust. All right, I'll continue to go and then we'll do a water test on the hood. Spray, spray too, it's pretty thick. Just put it on here like detail and spray. It's not really gonna run that much. Make sure you get your down here at your rockers. Like I said, just not much at all. And you just work it in. It's gonna streak on you. Use another, just work it in. Work it in with another towel. And the streak will go away. And you can see how thick it is. It's pretty simple to use. Get my windows. There we go. And then we're just going to work her in. And we'll see how it holds up. Okay, we're all done. Spraying it on. Let's take a look at it. Give it a nice shine. It feels smoother. Now remember, I didn't clay bar it. Didn't do a tar remover or nothing, no polish. Just wanted to see, just cleaned it up that clean slate. Kind of wanted to see what it does. All right, let's try the water test out. Get set up here. Try it out. Okay, water test time. Clean it up pretty good. Now, remember before there was nothing. Let's do a. Let's see, where's that? Let's do a flat spray. Look at that. Before nothing. It's pretty good. The windows are done. I'm about to redry it. <laughs> Let's go mist. Sorry about that taking a lot of traffic today on my street. There you go. Before nothing, now we have some. Let's see how it holds up for the industrial environment. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This, I believe it holds up great. Great. Uh, if you ever watched my video on the, um, the Lincoln that I did from a guy at work, um, he uh, brought it over a couple weeks ago and I did a maintenance wash on that and then I put the, the McGuire's ceramic wax spray on it, and I seen the vehicle today at work, and man, it looks clean. It still does. It's holding up pretty good. It still has a nice shine to it. Um, I wish I could take footage at work. I can't, I'll get, I'll get in trouble. I'll have to have them bring it over here one day, and we'll take a look at it, and they can maybe talk about it. Let's do door panel. Pretty good. There we go. Alright, that's gonna be it guys for this video. Hope, 
hopefully you enjoyed it. Just figure make a little video on this. I figure why not? I was washing it, and you know what? It's fine. Let me try this, you know, because my vehicle gets trashed with uh, all that dust will fall out and everything on there. And uh, so I figure, why not try this? You know, everybody's been trying it on uh, vehicles. You know, it's just basically getting rained on, a little bit of dirt. So uh, we'll see how it holds up with the industrial environment, with the coal and stuff like that. It gets on the road and the fallout from the um, from Marathon. And then we got the DTE, stuff like that, the power plant. And um, we'll see. That's about it. So, hey, thanks, guys, for watching. I appreciate it. Let me know on the footage for this camera. Um, I'm still going to have to learn how to use it. Um, I'm going to try to see if I can uh, try to make better videos with it. You know, a little bit more stable instead of shaky. I think it would help out maybe with the car shows, like I said earlier. And, uh, yeah, let us know in the comment about this. I uh, plan on doing that. Come with guys on this. Um, what do you think if I pick up the turtle wax? After I do a little test on this, we'll try that turtle wax. Uh, what's that called? That shine? That uh, I think it's a seal and shine. Maybe I'll pick some of that and put it on this, and then we'll uh, see what it does after we give this a shot for a couple weeks. You guys let us know in the comments. So, yeah, thanks for watching. I appreciate it, guys. You guys are great. Later.